The use of multiple input, multiple output, or MIMO, complicates the process of measuring E-Node-B power and modulation quality in LTE systems. Spectrum analyzers only have one receiver, whereas two or more receivers are needed for complete demodulation of data traffic channels. Connecting directly to each transmitter in turn is not necessarily the solution because of traffic pre-coding techniques causing similar measurement constraints and may not even be possible because of site accessibility issues or because of the use of remote radio heads. And Ritsu solves these problems by measuring the LTE control channels over the air, providing a quick and convenient health check of the MIMO installation. The advantage is that measurements can be done unobtrusively, and only if the health check shows potential problems need the site be taken off air for further investigation. The LTE options available for Anritsu's handheld analyzers measure the Physical Broadcast Channel, or PBCH, under MIMO conditions. MIMO signals are automatically detected and the modulation quality measurement, or EVM, switches to the PBCH. However, there are some practical considerations. Co-channel interference from neighboring cell sites will corrupt the EVM measurement and should be minimized. To do this, the transmitter test functions help the user to find a measurement location sweet spot from which to make optimal EVM and frequency error measurements. Use a directional antenna at a position about 500 meters from and in direct line of sight to the base station away from any large reflecting obstacles such as buildings or hills. Move around a little until the base station signal of interest is considerably more dominant than any other or preferably only the one cell IV is registered. This is then the ideal position or sweet spot from which to perform measurements. Over-the-air modulation quality measurements combined with a throughput check with a UE will determine the health of the complete system from backhaul to antenna. The transmitter test screen can also be used to determine correct MIMO operation and to troubleshoot cross-sector connection problems. As an example, this screen is showing the reception of two cell IDs of roughly equal amplitude and it's impossible to find a sweet spot location. The reference signal power delta, which should be within 3 dB for correct operation, is indicating it can only find a reference signal from one transmitter of cell ID 17. The bad EVM measurement confirms a high level of co-channel interference and the three measurements combined indicate the most likely scenario is that a feeder cable from an adjacent sector transmitter with cell ID 3 has been connected across to the wrong sector. In conclusion, MIMO and remote radio heads complicate LTE E-Node-B transmitter measurements, but these complications can be overcome by measuring the LTE control channel signals. When combined with a throughput check, the Anritsu LTE measurement suite, and especially the transmitter test measurement, provides an excellent tool for ensuring that LTE MIMO systems are working properly, even while operating with live traffic. This reduces the time and cost required for troubleshooting while reducing service disruptions. For more details, go to Enritsu.com and download the practical eNodeB transmitter measurements for LTE and TDLTE systems using MIMO application note.